out with Josephine Katambo, the senior brand manager, Johnny Walker. She is gorgeous. <laughs> wow. We have a team that clap. I have my crew here. I have my crew here. They're always very excited. Here they go again. <laughs> As you know, the European tour heads to East Africa for the first of two back-to-back -back events in Kenya. Let's talk about the magical Kenya Open. Welcome to the Spice Drive. Thank you, Monique. So glad to see you. So glad to see you too. <laughs> yeah, fun. A real fun. I'm a fan mm. right back. Here we go again <laughs> with the claps. <laughs> So good to see you. And um, also the conversation we're having has a lot of people pretty excited about this mm. amazing event. <laughs> How yes, is we have golf enthusiasts. So actually, we've had a long-standing relationship with the Kenya Open Limited Golf Limited, which right. is KOGL. Yes. And this year in 2021, in the Magical Kenya Open, Johnny yeah. Walker is the presenting sponsor, yeah. which is yeah. quite exciting for us. Yes. Because one of our brand purposes is pushing boundaries to taste more out of life. And for sure, this is a great opportunity for Kenya. And even better, this year we have a double header. Nice. So we have MKO and the Savannah Classic, which is back-to-back -back in yes. two weekends which is actually like um it's a confidence that now we are getting that they're co they're confident to bringing such um activities here in east africa yeah. and most importantly in home Kenya. oh this is exciting yeah. and to have two amazing events it's going to be a jam-packed week and i know the enthusiasts as you said are really keen to see this and um there's also the hole in one prize um that uh, kbl is promising um any lucky player who manages to attain the feat break it down and tell us about the prize First of all, the hole in one is very rare, mm. as we all know. I think the last hole in one that has ever that last happened was 2018. Yeah. So we are really looking forward to see who's going to actually manage, and we want at least more than one. Even if we can get ten, <laughs> why not? <laughs> right. Um. So it's going to happen at um. It's par 16, which is hole seven at Karen Country Club, mm. and then the person, because of course it being rare, we are going to give away one of our rarest brands, which is Johnny Walker Blue Label. Nice. And a nice interesting fact about Blue Label is that um, it has the rarest blends because Johnny Walker is a blended Scotch whiskey mm. and those distilleries no longer exist. So we have a liquid that is a blend that is um, 60 years of age, part of Blue Label. So it's nice. a really exciting gift. And yeah, worth a couple of good coins. So looking forward to see how many guys can land the hole in one. Very nice. Yeah. I mean, this is no ordinary gift, no ordinary prize. So we understand that KBL through Johnny Walker will be incentivized and supporting local players at both events. How is this going to be done? Yeah, first of all, actually, because we're in a very unique time, uh, because again, COVID and everything that has happened. And of course, the golf enthusiasts um, who are also following your show, yes. uh, please be confident that it's going to be live on air as much as it's a pity we're not going to have the whole village and guys to actually watch at Karen. Right. And I know KTN is doing a live stream, so please tune in and watch. But also for the golfers, we are going to activate in 25 different golf clubs mm -hmm. and we're going to do a live viewing as well. And of course, the great tasting journey walker shall be on um, great offers as well during both weekends. Um, so in terms of even just the local pro golfers, an interesting fact that actually we discovered is that it's going to cost 4,000 euros for a pro golfer to attend both tournaments, mm. which again is a really high cost. So uh, being the presenting sponsor again, we're supporting our 13 pro golfers who are going to take part in both um, tournaments, um, but that's MKO and Savannah Classic. We're going to lift off the pressure of accommodation and just for them being comf comfortable, in the both weekends because again due to covid yeah. they can't enter and leave they're right. going to be in bubbles so once you enter karen or rather the hotel that you're going to be staying in as you're going to play you'll be in some sort of what they're calling a bubble yes. so you'll be tied to a body and that's a person who's going to hang out with you the whole time right yeah so it's quite um different this year and we're really glad that we get to support our golfers to actually even participate and over and beyond that we're adding a sweetener mm. that if you manage to make the cut in both tournaments because of course they're going to be competing we are going to add in an additional 100,000. The crew is excited. You know, not only is it different this year, you're also making it exciting and worth the thrill. You've yes. also mentioned the people yes. that may not be able to go to Karen, they can still be part of the Magical Kenya Open. And it's going to be jam-packed, two back-to-back -back events, same weekend. Are you excited yourself? Are you a golf enthusiast? <laughs> 
<laughs> I think I'm slowly loving the sport. I love the fact that you don't have to sweat as you're right. playing. <laughs> so yes, I'm definitely a golf enthusiast, and I've been following the European tour mm. just even as they're coming. They just came from South Africa, and now that they're in Kenya, yes. it's quite exciting. That yeah, I'll be get. I'll, I'll watch it at Vet Lab. So yes. please, if you come through, ask for me. We'll share a journey walker, of course. Um, responsible drinking and yes. yeah, social distanced as well. Fantastic. Yeah. So um, your involvement this year, um, Magical Kenya Open, um, what is your extent of the partnership with um, Kenya Open Golf Limited and how are you going to activate it? I know you've mentioned that you have a couple of prizes. You also want to ensure that, uh, you know, um, you ease the experience for some of the people that are part. Yeah. What else? So for sure, of course, the members who are going to come through at Karen um, shall get to enjoy Johnny Walker at a very, very great price. And not just Johnny Walker, also our KBL uh, brands because we have a myriad of them yeah. and all of them great tasting for sure. So this year, again, because we are presenting sponsor, our sponsorship is worth $43 million in cash um, to Kenya Open Golf Limited. Also to just um, assist in the plans and preparations because again, as mentioned this year, it's going to be quite different mm. and intense. And it also goes to show that uh, with COVID, we've also learned how to be innovative because even just having the go ahead to activate back to back events had a great and a lot of stuff that had to come in play and of course would cost money so uh, over and just beyond being the presenting sponsor and then another key thing for us is being in culture with sports mm. and golf is actually getting a lot of eyeballs of late yeah. so that would be great visibility for us as a brand as well mm. to also just drive aspiration and get more people like you and I yes. to officially st start playing golf exactly I mean I'm seeing a lot of um, local names and uh, local yes, talent yes. Um, this year um, so there's a lot of um, conversation around um, how prepared people are during this event. Um, I know you've mentioned COVID, but that is still a very um, interesting question. It's a mainstay um, over the last couple of months. As you know, things are not the same as they used to be. Mm. So what preparations are in place um, for Magical Kenya Open? So again, because first and foremost, there's not going to be any spectators. And as mentioned earlier, they're going to be in bubbles or rather what they're terming as a bubble. So when you enter in, it's the players will be together with their caddies and they're not going to interact with anyone else in the club outside um, the two weekends. And of course, being in a bubble means, of course, maybe you're thinking we could hang out because we're all players with our caddies. Right. That's not going to happen. So a player is going to be tied to their caddy and that's going to be their buddy over the two weekends that they're going to be here. So you have breakfast, lunch with the same person and dinner. Wow. And so that at least it's being managed. And of course, you get tested before you enter the bubble. And you're not leaving the bubble until the back-to-back -back events are done. So I believe that's a great... Um, great confidence that we're also giving the players who are coming into the country that they're not going to interact with anybody else mm. but of course the support team that um, the Kenya Open Golf Limited have managed to get inside the bubble can also not leave the bubble mm. yeah so that at least everything is contained in one space so that's why even if you're in Karen and you're a member at Karen you will be able to have a live viewing right. in the club but not interact with the players or anyone else who's in the bubble very nice. I like that that's clear. It's a real question and a lot of people like to know this and I'm seeing lots of feedback here. So um, one of the things that we want to add again is that you can follow all the action live on KTN News Kenya and live stream on Standard Digital. It's going to be exciting. And you know what? It's going to be um, a beautiful experience for the people yes, at home yes. and of course at Karen Country Club. Thank you so much. Um, are you excited yourself? For sure, because I think um, this is the first time I'm actually going to experience it through and through because mm. last year, we all know what happened. It never got to take place. Right. So super excited to see how it plays out, how our pro golfers. So please, guys, come out and show support. But also follow us on Johnny Walker KE on our social handles to keep up with anything else that's happening outside MKO. Love it. And I'm super thrilled about that gift that you have. So uh, we're going to be following all over your platforms. My special guest, y'all, it is Josephine Katambo, Senior Brand Manager, Johnny Walker. She is gorgeous and she's got treats. <laughs> I think, I think I still have hope in 2021. So make sure you follow all the details and don't forget Standard Digital in KT News, Kenya. Thank you so much, Josephine. 